Welcome to the tutorial on how to uh, just a way to plot some points and make some graphs online. Um, uh, someone brought up a concern with um, they don't have a printer or um, I, if you do have a printer I feel bad if you're printing tons of stuff and your parents are having to buy you more ink and so forth so I'm going to try to modify my lessons and checkpoints and stuff like that so somehow you can submit online versus printing it out, writing it on a piece of paper, and then sending it back. So um, we're going to try out this program called GeoGebra. So here it is, G-E-O-G-E-B-R-A. So it's like algebra, but geo, al geogebra. So anyway, let's look for it. So there it is. It's a free math app. It's kind of like Desmos. It does graph. Um, I'm finding it a little easier to, if you want it to, actually plot something um, it, it seems to work um, it's just a little easier to use where like does most you type in an equation it's graph something really nicely um, I'm sure it can graph points but um, I'm finding that this program here it, it works a little better so let's hit start graphing I'm gonna take you to this page it kind of looks like Desmos um, so like it has little the input area kind of similar to GeoGebra or Desmos um, but here it has some um, little features that you can click on. So if you click here, um, I think we want this. Yeah, we want the circle and the triangles here. So I want you to be able to like um, show me the step pattern. Um, so for example, if we're just uh, graphing the parent graph, um, you always want to click on this move option here. That way you can move stuff around like the graph, move it side to side and so forth. Okay, so you just have to keep going back to the move button so that um, you can adjust um, adjust the uh, uh, what what you want to be doing. So I'm gonna okay, so I already moved the graph, so I'm gonna go to point now. Click on that, and then I'm gonna put plot in the vertex zero zero. So there it is. Um, I'm sure you can modify the color and do all that stuff, but we'll just kind of keep going here. So the next point I want is one one. So again. Um, I believe the point option is still on, so I'll click on 1, 1. And then, so we're going over 1, up 1, over 1, up 3. So the next point will be here, and then over 1, up. So again, if you can't see up here, you can hit the, click the Move button, drag the graph down a bit so you can see better. So, and then, but remember to click the point again. So over 1, up 1, over 1, up 3, over 1, up five click there it is and then you can graph uh, these ones here like that and then okay and then if you have a mouse it might be easier but if not try your best now to um, okay so scroll down on the options here and we will draw like grab the pen I guess okay try that and then again try your best here um, so try to make that U at the bottom, okay, and then try your best to get the points, oh boy, and uh, arrowhead, there you go, try the other side. So I just tried to use the pen to um, sketch in the parabola graph, it was a little too tricky, and I know a lot of you don't have a mouse on your computer, so don't worry about it when you're submitting it, I know that, um, yeah, I'm sure that you can draw a nice smooth U at the bottom and then uh, arms that are going out, extending out with a narrow head. So just for now, if you just, um, we just kind of keep it like that, that'll be good. So the points that we have here are for the parent function y equals x squared. Um, let's see here, this one's a different color, so I'm just going to click on it, double click on it. Nope, it didn't work. Oh, there we go. This is what I'm looking for. Um, just change it to blue. There we go. So it matches. Um, so here we can also add text. Okay, so just click on the screen here. It opens up a text box, and then you can type in y equals um, x. And then I'm going to put the little roof button here, and then that'll t tell that it's an exponent. And then hit OK. There it is. I'm gonna drag it here. Label my equation. So again, we're not going to connect the dots. It's too tricky with the mouse. Um, and I know a lot of you don't have the, uh, a mouse on your device. So, all right, so there we go. And then, so now what if we 
I'm gonna make another text box here. What if we want to make a graph? Um, there. Okay, so I want you to graph um, y equals x squared plus 3. So again, we want to do this uh, quickly without making a table values and so forth. So what you're going to do here is that, you know, analyzing this, okay, that's that means the vertical translation up by 3, so all the points will move up by 3. So we'll start with the vertex here. This A will move up 1, 2, 3. So here, let's click on point here. So here, 1, 2, 3, and I'll click the point there. So again, um, let's change the color so you can just double click, cancel that, and then we can change it to red here. Okay, so, um, so that's the vertex there. All of the other points should do the same here. So now if I click here, um, go to these two points here, one, two, three, they should be there, there. These ones will move up here and here okay so i'll just change those to red as well oh good so the little options it stays on so just kind of go point to point and just change all the colors here Oops. okay so I, I wouldn't want you to graph both of them it'll be tricky so i, I just want to see the final one that's been transformed so here um, again if you wanted to plot a few more on you can drag the screen down a bit okay so again just make sure you click move then go back to point and then these ones here will go up by three as well and again double click just change it to red oops there we go and then you'll see we could connect them nicely you'll see that the red has shifted up the blue was the original Okay, so this is a way that you guys can submit. So again, if you wanted the parent there to help you um, graph the red one, you can do that. And then from there, you could just delete the parent out of there, delete the label. Okay, so then from there you can submit a graph online to me showing me that you understand or you can create a graph um, of, of a quadratic that's been transformed so it's shifted up by three. In this way you don't have to print something out, um, write on it, take a picture, send it back. You can just take a picture of this and send it back. So hopefully you guys know how to do screenshots um, on your device. Like your phone's pretty easy. Um, if it's a computer just kind of look up depending on the computer that you have. It'll be different. Um, I don't know, key orders and stuff like that. So, okay. All right. So, okay. That's it for um, using GeoGebra Geo um, in order to graph things. So I'm sure it's got a lot of different other features to it. So you can um, putter around with it if you want to as well. Okay. So Desmos is good. Uh, GeoGebra is um, also good as well. Okay. But I think that GeoGebra works well with actually creating a graph. Desmos, you just like, it's good for punching in equations and creating a graph as well.